by a couple of researchers uh, interested in pushing out some of the activities that we were doing at the, uh, in, in our lab, okay? Uh, so you, you can see actually that this picture is from 2009 from the mobile phone. So th that was uh, the, the standard at that time. Uh, we uh, went to the market on 2011 uh, with the, this first prototype, this first uh, product actually. It's called the uh, AIH2 Azzurra, Azzurra Hand. Uh, it became uh, pretty popular in research environments. It has been used in several uh, laboratories around the world. It was the first five-axis market uh, available uh, robotic hand to be used f uh, for research in a decent uh, and, and fair, fairly easy enough manner uh, with uh, sensors and uh, the possibility to, to, to get into the control and to, to, to perform uh, you know, home experiments uh, uh, at the wish of the researcher. Uh, IH stands for intrinsic hand. Uh, indeed, the five motors are all inside uh, the palm. Uh, since, since 2011, uh, more than 30 labs got this hand uh, in more than in 12 countries, actually. Uh, and it uh, allowed researchers like you to, to submit and publish successfully more than 50 papers. Uh, but we're not here for that. We're not here to celebrate the past nor the present. We're here for, for the future. Indeed, next year it will be 10 years the 10th year anniversary of Prinsilia, and we're super uh, happy to, to share with you what, what, what we did to celebrate this. So as a hand company uh, manufacturer, uh, of course, we, I mean, we, we're not so, uh, uh, so creative. We did a hand, we did a new hand. So we're here to present this. Uh, it's called Mia Hand. You maybe uh, saw it at the stand outside. Uh, so Mia, is an uh, anthropomorphic, dexterous, sensorized, powerful, lightweight hand, okay? It's, it's also nice, okay, we like, it. we like it. It's very nice we had uh, industrial designers uh, making the outside shell for us. Uh, it fits in the 30th female percentile size. It is dexterous because here we have four degrees of freedom. Uh, we have position, current, and grip force sensors. Uh, and it's capable of up to 70 Newton uh, uh, grasp force at the fingertip, so it's pretty strong. Uh, you don't want to put your hand inside. Uh, and it's light, okay? It's 480 grams, which is uh, um, fairly good. Uh, soon, this will be certified as a prosthetic hand, class one biomedical device, and, and uh, as a flexible gripper. I think we are presenting this to you because you are researchers and you would like to use it probably in uh, in uh, human machine interfaces uh, environments or scenarios, uh, using BMIs, closed loop control, uh, human machine interaction, prosthetics, of course. Uh, well, this is up to you, okay? This is a flexible tool, robotic hand that can be used for whatever you want. Uh, but now it's time of the demo, okay? So uh, let's uh, welcome uh, Neri with a, with a big applause all together. Okay, so if we take Neri, which is his name, strange name in Italian, uh, and we take Mia, which is that thing there, and we add a mocha, we can actually make a coffee, okay? I'm not sure if you have ever seen uh, how we make uh, coffee in Italy, in homes, okay? Uh, before Nespresso came, we used to use mocha, okay? The mocha is this machine, uh, and um, Neri will use the robotic hand uh, on a handle with a super uh, fancy and advanced brain machine interface, which is those couple of uh, buttons, okay? With one button, it can close, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. With the other button, it can open, and if it keeps open, it can change the grasp type, okay? This is programmed in this way just for the sake of the demo. Uh, and if it doesn't do anything for a while and the hand is open, it, the hand nicely goes back in a relaxed position. Okay, this is an interesting feature if you think about a prosthesis. You want to put it back, your jacket, and so, and so on. You don't want your hand, your fingers sticking out like this, right? Uh, so, can you, can you show us if it's, let's see, let, let's go, go. So to make a coffee, we need this boiler, basically. Uh, we need uh, coffee powder. Uh, we need water. Uh, and then sugar, if you want it. So this is the palmar grasp, okay? Power grasp, all digits close together, and the thumb is in an abducted uh, position. 
So Neri is not an amputee. Huh? So that's far. Uh, but this is just to show the capability of the device. If you were an, if you, if it was an amputee, he would have probably had uh, more compensatory movement, and then he would have, would have needed a, a wrist mo mobility. But uh, if you just focus at the hand, and that's why we wanted a GoPro here to to make a focus of what he was doing. But unfortunately, it's no longer there. But Neri is doing his job very well. So he takes a spoon. He put you put the coffee in this funnel, in this funnel. And then you have to close this the mocha. So he's using a, a lateral grip to, to, to close the mocha and to destroy the hand. Luckily not. And then uh, this is a special thing from IKEA. Okay, Port portable induction uh, heater. like to, uh, I mean, Italian lunch, Italian dinner, when we are at the table, we like to chat a lot. That's why this thing takes forever. Uh, but meanwhile, we're waiting for the coffee to be done. It will take six minutes, roughly. Uh, I'll present a little bit more of what you saw. So basically, the hand is a, it's a robotic hand with outer shells, uh, a rubber glove, uh, and of course, PCB, uh, all the controllers is inside, and there are mechanical transmission to, to operate the different degrees of freedom. So the magic of this hand, which is capable of plenty of the grasp patterns which are useful for daily living, is in, in this mechanism, which we call, uh, it's a Geneva wheel, okay? So with a single motor, uh, we can extend, flex extend the index, uh, abduct the thumb, Okay, and this thumb abduction happens when the finger, the index is open. Okay, so you don't realize that the, the, they're coupled because this happens when the index is fully extended. Uh, but the, the overall, uh, overall you, you can, with the, a single motor, have two degrees of freedom, uh, which are uh, highly relevant in a, in a hand prosthesis or in a hand and robotic hand in general. And this is how we managed to fit in a small volume three motors with 24 watts of power and only 480 grams. And then we have some videos. That describe this thing even better. So one motor is inside the thumb, is for thumb flexion extension. One motor is in uh, the last three fingers. And then we have this motor for index flexion and thumb abduction. And you can see the cycle there. So we can perform cylindrical grasp to, 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 to grasp the bottle of water. This is a pinch grip, thumb index. If you wanna get uh, a small coin, you can do it. Uh, lateral grasp to, for the key, key grasp or credit card. And so on. So you can grasp tennis balls, cell tape, other weird things you find in a lab, bottles. So it's not just grasps, it's also about postures. Of course, this, these are stereotypical uh, wave, ways of, of grasping objects, but uh, you can actually modulate the movements of your digits wherever you want and make postures uh, at your wish, more or less, given the, 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 the mechanical architecture. In particular, you can do this, so you can press down, huh? useful for a keyboard, and you can point which is useful to press buttons at an ATM, for example. With other commercial devices, uh, you can get this, but you don't get this, or you get one of the two. So this is an interesting feature. So here we have uh, uh, some of our specs. Um, we have uh, tested this hand with a couple of uh, people helping us uh, developing it. Uh, so this guy is called Mirko. Uh, he's wearing a uh, previous version 
uh, of the hand. Uh, and it's doing the sharp test. You, you might be familiar with this. So basically, it's a, it's a standardized hand assessment tool. It's based on speed. Uh, you press the button, you do the task, you press the button, and then you put these numbers in an in a Excel file, and you get a, you get a rank, OK? Uh, this is just to show that uh, a guy with a with, with, with lost limb can actually use it. We had this person and another one testing the, the hand at home and giving us a lot of feedback uh, on how to improve it. Uh, something is coming out, right? So basically, the water boils, pushes the powder out of the, on the external cup. Uh, here we have it, yeah? Okay, so finally, you can actually prepare a coffee with a, with a hand like this. Uh, I take it black. I don't want sugar, please. Did you all have a coffee already? You want one? Really? Sugar or no sugar? Sugar. How many, how many spoons? One spoon for uh, Erica. Okay, here we have the lateral. We take sugar. Do you want a chocolate? Are you sure? Okay, she doesn't want a chocolate. I can have one. Okay, this is to use the pinch. Okay, so uh, I, I will take the, it's better if I take it to you. That's it. If you have questions, you're free to ask or... Ah, sure.